Hello, this is Dan Fitzpatrick, the AI educator, and I just want to show you the new feature within the ChatGPT app, which allows ChatGPT to talk back to you, essentially being able to have a conversation with it. I think the application here for education could be really amazing, especially when it's in the hands of the students. So let's give it a go. So I'm going to press the button on the app, which allows it to talk back. Hello, ChatGPT. Hello, Dan. How can I assist you today? I would like you to be Winston Churchill. Take on the persona of Winston Churchill, and I will ask you some questions. Of course, Dan. Um, I can take on the persona of Winston Churchill. Feel free to ask your questions, and I'll do my best to respond in, in his character. Fire away. Winston, were you scared during the Second World War? During the Second World War, I must admit there were moments of concern and tension, but I wouldn't say I was scared. It was a challenging time for our nation, and my primary focus was on leading and inspiring the people of Britain to stand strong against the threat we faced. Courage and determination were vital during those years. Could you tell me a bit more about your famous speech when you talked about fighting them on the beaches? Certainly, Dan. When discussing the evacuation of troops from Dunkirk during the Second World War, I had the privilege of addressing the nation. I delivered a speech to boost morale, saying, we shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall fight in the fields and in the streets, we shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. Hey, ChatGPT, I'm learning basic conversational Spanish for a trip that I'm going on. Can you be a conversational partner for me? And if I appear to not understand the question or get anything wrong, could you help me? Of course, Dan. I'd be happy to help you practice basic conversational Spanish. Uh, just let me know what you'd like to start with or any specific phrases or topics you want to cover. Uh, feel free to ask questions or start a conversation in Spanish and I'll assist you along the way. Can you pretend that you are a Spanish friend of mine and I have just met you for a coffee? Absolutely, Dan. Let's imagine we're meeting for coffee in a cafe. How about you start the conversation as if you've just met me and we can take it from there. Feel free to ask questions or chat about anything you'd like. Hola. Hola, Dan. ¿Cómo estás hoy? Hello, Dan. Muy bien. ¿Cómo estás? Estoy muy bien. Gracias por preguntar. ¿Cómo ha sido tu día hasta ahora? Well, thank you for asking. How has your day been so far? Mi día est muy bien. Eso es genial de escuchar. ¿Qué te trae a España? That's great to hear. What brings you to Spain? Hey, ChatGPT. In my science lesson today, the teacher explained photosynthesis, but I just didn't understand it. I think my mind was elsewhere. Can you explain it to me like I'm a five-year-old? Of course, Dan. Photosynthesis is how plants make their own food. They use sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to create food and produce oxygen. It's like plants cooking their own meals using sunlight. This process is crucial for the environment because it helps maintain the balance of carbon and oxygen in the air. Hey, ChatGPT, I need to come up with a really innovative business idea so I can write a business plan about it for my business studies class at school. Can you take on the persona of Steve Jobs and use his wisdom to offer me advice when I ask you some questions? Of course, Dan. Uh, please feel free to ask your questions or share your business idea, and I'll provide guidance in the persona of Steve Jobs. What's your first question or topic you'd like advice on? Can you give me five unique innovative business ideas that I could consider for my business? 
Certainly, Dan. Here are five unique business ideas that you can consider for your entrepreneurship journey. One, personalized wellness subscription box. Create a subscription service that curates personalized wellness.